Good morning. How is everybody? Good morning, queens, mistresses, dominatrixes, just strong women, and everybody in between ends up. How the hell is everybody? Look, you know, I don't have a lot of makeup on, but I got it on, and I just wore it for you. My hair is still a mess. I'm trying to fit. It's really frizzy looking because I had it in a braid. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to do this gray red ombre thingy, but I, that means I got to grow my roots out more, but enough about that. Don't you hate when you spill coffee on yourself? God damn. Then you have coffee stains. Anyways, um, today I'm kind of staying home and listing some stuff and cleaning some stuff and trying to get my listing room and you know together Ugh, it's a pain in the ass um <laughs> and clean some of the rest of the house uh but i had a question and i would like to respond to it i have actually i'm gonna like peel price tags off of stuff i bought so um you know bear with me i'm gonna try to kill two burns with one stone um, so I had somebody ask what kind of payment methods, actually, that's just rude. What kind of payment methods should, uh, can Europeans use? And I've gone over this before and I get it. I have a lot of videos and not everybody wants to sit there and watch all the videos. So, um, I will, if you ask me a question in the comments, I will comment with, Hey, I just made a video. I just posted about it. So, you know, um, Okay, so yes, that is hard. Even for Americans, if you have subs that are uh, in Europe, how do they pay you? Because you don't, you know, for sessions and so on and so forth, or tributes or whatever, uh, because you don't want to use your PayPal. Why do you not want to use your PayPal? Comment below. Let me see if you guys have really been listening. Um, but you don't want to use your PayPal. Uh, you'll, it'll get suspended. Uh, PayPal's not, uh, sex worker friendly and they, uh, and people think, well, I'm a financial dominatrix. I mean, I don't take off my clothes. It's still considered part of the, uh, sex worker realm. Um, so you just don't use PayPal. The easiest way to get tributes from people that don't have the same methods as you do because we also have Venmo and Cash App and that can also get suspended, just FYI. So if you wanna be super safe, excuse me, I just burped. Oh, sorry, so rude. Um, You get an adult website that they can pay you through and it's really hard for them to dispute it because they know what they're coming to and they, yeah. So my preferred one is ABN Stars. I've never had a problem with them paying me out. They do hold the money for about seven days and take a, I think, 10% cut. I think they all take the same cut. Um, and people are kind of like, well, I don't want to wait that long. And da, da, da. Well, you know what? I'm kind of in the whole thing of like, I would rather wait than have my PayPal suspended, which I use my PayPal in everyday life and for my business. So yeah, that would be good. Um, and it just kind of makes things legit. A lot of people are like, well, um, I mean, if you make a lot of money at this, I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That, um, uh, AVN and only fans will, I think they'll 1099 you, I think. Um, I didn't make that much money last year on it for them to 1099 me. So yeah. Oh, one thing I forgot to say. Somebody paid me for a session through my AVN because they're in Europe, and uh, it was a it was a video uh, clip thing, you know. And uh, I guess I still got it. People are like, "Yeah, right. Look at you." Um, so that was nice. See, and he approached properly. He was like, he tributed 
And then he asked, inquired about if I was interested. I was like, oh, nice way. Amazing way to approach. Are you interested in doing this type of clip? If you are, how much would it be? And I told him, and because he approached me so nicely and properly, the initial tribute, I just applied it towards uh, the cost of the clip for him, the private, you know. And then after he received the clip, he tipped me. Please come back. Those are the type of, you know, subs you like. It's really easy, people. It really is. Just be, like, smart. It's like when you go into a store, what do you do? You pick up the item, you pay for it before you can take it. So, anywho, that was nice. And, uh, yeah, it was done through AVN Stars. And this way, also, it's hard. Like I said, it's really hard for them to dispute it. Um, I did have an OnlyFans. I think they, I just, because I didn't post stuff on it for a long time, I, um, I just kind of, I think they got rid of it. I don't know. I still get emails from them being like, oh, and I'm like, whatever. Um, I didn't like OnlyFans. I didn't like their format. Um, I felt like it was really just, you, your page just looked, ugh. Like, I, I just didn't like it. And then when I went to cash out, it was drama. And I'm like, why? So I don't know. I'm just saying, I know a lot of girls that use it. They don't have issues with it, whatever. I prefer Avian Stars. If you guys don't have an adult website verification or site or anything, or if you want to try Avian Stars, uh, in the description below is my referral link. And I do tell people if you do uh, use the referral link, I kind of, you know, go above and beyond to help you out because you're helping me out. Um, I do get like uh, 5% of w if you make money on it, but it doesn't come out of your money. Avian actually pays me. So it's kind of like a win-win for everybody. But now that I am not as crazy in a vanilla job, I have more time to kind of, I don't want to like take people on and mentor, mentor them, but you know, I, I, I at least have more time to deal with that. So that's good. Uh, what else? So yeah, that is my suggestion for everybody. These sites take money from all over the world. So, and then give you your money. So like I said, you have to be prepared to have it. It clears in seven days and then you can transfer it into your bank account. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I do. You know, it's very rare if I have subs, uh, tribute to me on like Venmo or any of that stuff, because I just, you have to be a long trusted sub. Let me put it to you that way. Mm -hmm. Um, and I mean, like, you really have to like prove yourself and stuff like that. Not just like, like this last sub that just paid for, uh, the clip. Um, yeah, he did everything right. Still doesn't mean I'm going to give him, you know, my memo and everything like that. And it, like I said, he's in Europe anyways. It wouldn't matter. Um, I have a little dog. Come here. Come say hi. Come say hi. Oh. Hold on, where are you? Oh, come say hi. Say hi, Total Bug. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> Why do you look so. Oh, you got stinky breath. <gasps> you have stinky breath. Say hello. Say hello. Yep. Yeah. Tootie Booty. Tootie Booty. I know. Um. So, yeah, and then I got a little pixie right here. Um. So yeah, that's what I suggest. If anybody else has any other, or, you know, you could do Amazon gift cards. Um, if people want to pay you by Amazon gift cards, do not give them anything until you get the redemption code and you redeem the gift card. Yeah, I had somebody trying to scam me with, they said they sent me a $150 gift card 
and uh, they gave me the code and everything. Well, I don't even know what the hell he wanted because he didn't ask for anything. I didn't respond. He like literally sent me the code. I was like, hmm. I copied it and everything, went to Amazon, put it in. Guess what? It was, yeah, no, it wasn't there, nothing. So I was like, okay. So I gave him one benefit of the doubt. And I had no idea who this guy was. Like I hadn't associated with him before. I think he followed me on Twitter or something and would comment every now and then, but I don't know, you know. And then so I was like, that code doesn't work. And he's like, what? Acting stupid. And then, you know, he was like, well, here it is again. Gave it to me again. Same shit. And so basically I, uh, I just said to him, I was like, scammer. And then I blocked him. So yeah, you make sure the moment you get it, you redeem it. But, you know, then you could use it on Amazon to whatever. It's totally up to you. I mean, but those are ways that you can in have international transactions, stuff like that. I hope it made sense. I hope you got it. I appreciate all y'all. Give it a like. Subscribe. And click the bell so you know when I'm on. I might go live this weekend. Hmm, maybe Saturday. Hmm, how many of you would watch? Hmm, what day is today? Today's Thursday. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think? But anyways, have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, you know, being supportive of me and everybody like commenting and giving me support. And I appreciate you. I really do. And as I've said, this channel is about me trying to empower other women and educate them in the scene and even try to educate some subs. So, oh, hold on. Hold on. Speaking of subs, for those of you that live in America, and I'm sure this guy's probably made it across the pond also, have you seen the idiot that was in the Costco in Florida losing it on a elderly customer because they said something to him about he should have a mask on? Now, it is Costco's policy right now that they want everybody to wear a mask. Um, and this, so an elderly person who is more susceptible uh, asked, like, why are you in here without a mask? And this dude went, he starts screaming, I feel threatened by you. Back up. I feel threatened by you. I mean, you got to watch the video. It is the most bitch behavior I've ever seen. And this guy lost his job. And he was like the number one salesman at his uh, job. He sell, sold insurance. And he lost his job because of how he conducted himself. And all I could think was, oh my God, I wish I would have been there. Because I would have had him crying. Crying. Now, I'm not saying there aren't some Karens out there that do the same thing, but when it's a man acting, like, how would you, would you do that to, like, I wonder if he would have done that to me, or a guy, or somebody, like, you know what I mean? Like, somebody who wouldn't back down from them. Like, I just, oh, all I could think was, like, oh, my God, I just want to, like, dominate your butt like I just want to like show you who the hell is boss here and it's definitely not you and you just lost your job how did that work out just because you don't want to wear a mask because you know oh, just wear a mask people I don't care if people freaking unsubscribe because I say this it is out of control the amount of cases and if you can't realize that saliva is spread through talking, 
yelling, sneezing, whatever. It's just if everybody wears a mask, hopefully we can get like a handle on this crap and uh, get back to semi-normal. I don't know. Are things ever going to be normal again? I don't know. But, you know, as I said, I appreciate all y'all. I just want you to be safe. And man, I just want to dominate that guy. So maybe he needs to tribute.